Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn discuss further into the applied project, which is faster going up or coming down video series and look at question two this time. And I'm not going to recap too much on the applied project here because I've done that in my earlier videos. So make sure to watch those and I put those in the video link below in, in the description. So basically, this applied project uh, just models, uh, goes over a model of the uh, motion of a ball as you throw it in the air. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, so as you throw it in the air and as it comes back down to the ground. And this one we're just dealing with throwing it straight up and coming back straight down. And the whole idea of the project is to eventually solve this problem which states, do you think it takes longer to reach the maximum height? or to fall back to earth from its maximum height. And in my earlier video, I uh, went over initial guess that it should be the same thing, throwing up in the air versus throwing it, uh, versus it coming back down to the ground. So that's my initial guess. In later videos, we'll see if my guess is correct or not. And question one involved uh, basically uh, going over the differential equation governing the uh, motion of the ball as you throw it in the air. And then eventually uh, deriving the velocity function as a f yeah, velocity as a function of time of that ball. And now question two states: Show that the height of the ball until it hits the ground is given by this equation y of t for height is equal to v o, where v o is initial velocity of the ball. Uh, as I went over my earlier uh, video question one, I went over these uh, terms. Basically, plus mg, where m is the mass of the ball, g is acceleration due to gravity, divided by p, which is just a constant, and it's used in the air resistance uh, uh, model. That I uh, also went over in question one. And then multiply by m divided by p times it by 1 minus e to the power of negative pt over m, where t is time, and then all minus mgt over p. So this is what we have to show and we can do this by first recalling. Mm -hmm. So if we recall that the, well, velocity is simply the derivative of the position function. In this case, the position function is, because uh, we're dealing with up and down, that's just the height. So our velocity is uh, just equal to the derivative dy over yeah, dy of t over dt, and then move this, uh, then basically this just means integral of y of t is just, uh, I mean, I mean the integral of the velocity is just the function uh, y of t or the height. In other words, to be more complete, we can move the dt on the other side, so we get a v d v of t dt equals to dy of t, and take the integral. This is just for completeness' sake, and the integral of this, what we get is y of t is simply equal to yeah, because this is just equal to y of t on the right side. Integral of dy is just y. So what we get is this equals to integral of v of t dt. Yes, yeah, so we know that this is uh, the formula for this y of t, and we know that the velocity function is given by this. But another thing we know is that, well, we also know, let's put, uh, that the formula, I mean, the function y or the height, the height at t equals to zero, that's well assume it's right on the ground, so the height is zero. So we assume that at time is zero, the, we haven't thrown the ball yet, or just as, as we throw it, it starts off from the ground, and we're putting that as the height is zero. So this is the initial value that we know, and this is the formula for y of t, which is the integral of the velocity. So we just have to integrate this velocity function, so plug that inside. So integral of, and then let's just see if I can remember this, VO plus MG divided by P, and then E to the negative PT over M minus MG over P. So this is VO plus MG over P. This is times it by E to the uh, negative PT over M, and then, well, we minus MG over P. And then this is equal to, well, and then put the dt there. And let's just see if we double check. It's exactly the same. VO plus mg over p. Yeah, looks like it. So that's the, yeah, this is a very uh, tedious spreading all that down. So that's what we have. And now we could just take the integral. Remember, these are all, all constants. Only thing not a constant is this t function. So what this means is that integral of this is just, well, VO plus mg over p, and then the integral of this right here 
e to the negative pt over m, well that's just, uh, and, then, when, and then we divide that out, so that's just going to be, uh, I'll put this bracket like that, e to the negative pt over m, in, integral of uh, e is just itself, but now we have this constant negative p over m, so what we do is we have to uh, divide this out, so 1 divided by negative p over m, or otherwise negative p over m, the m goes on top, so put that above here. So we get m divided by negative p like that. And then what we do is minus mg, this is just a constant, mgp, integral of a constant, uh, well, we'll just add the variable t. And then what we also have is the constant of integration c. So we always include the constant. So that's what we have. So this is what our function is for the height, but we have this constant, but we can solve it because we know this initial condition that y of 0 is equal to t. So I'll write at y of 0 equals to 0. Plug that in that we get 0 is equal to vo plus mg over p. These are just constants. Now what we have is this uh, negative, I mean this is just m minus p. I'll write this a bit neater. I'll just take the bracket out, write this m over p and put the negative on this side. And then e to the negative, well, 0, that's a 0. So e to the negative uh, p, p then times 0. Same thing as writing e to the 0, which is, again, recall e to the 0 equals just to 1. And you can see more on that in my earlier videos on power functions. So that's what it's equal to. And then minus mg times 0, this is all 0, so minus 0, plus constant, constant c. So what we do is move this on the left side so it's positive and we have C is finally equal to VO plus MG over P times it by, and this is M over P like that. So that is what our C is. And then we could just throw that inside here. So what we finally get is, is uh, Y of T is equal to, let's write this down, VO plus MG over P, and then this is going to be, this is M over P, I'll move that negative outside here, have this M over P like that, and then E to the negative PT over M, and then minus MG T over P, so it's just a lot of uh, tedious writing, and then finally we add the C, which is plus, I'll add the plus right here actually, just, uh, just to make some room here. So plus VO plus MG over P, over P times M over P. And as you can see, this is exactly the same thing on top here, so we could just factor that out. So this equals to factoring out the like terms, which is this VO plus MG over P times M over P we get, and also, uh, yeah, so we'll factor that out, what we get is VO plus MG over P times M over P, so we take that out, when we take this out of this one, we just get a 1, so we get a 1, and move this on the other side, 1 minus, because there's a negative, E to the negative PT over M, let's write this a bit neater, negative PT over M, and then this is going to be finally minus mgt over p. And this is our formula for the height with time. Let's write this, uh, let's draw it out a bit neater. Let's see, okay. Yeah, that's good enough. So let's see if it's exactly what we were asked to find. And there you go, we have vo plus mg over p, m m divided by p, then 1 minus e negative pt, and then over m minus mgt, and there, go, there you go, it's exactly the same exact thing, even with this factoring out. So vo plus mg over p times m, p, m over p times 1 minus e to the negative pt divided by m minus mgt over p. So anyways, that's all for today, if you learn from this, uh, it's pretty straightforward, this is a bit, bit tedious because it's just a really long formula long integral, but it's all pretty much the, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, it's just you're dealing with a lot of variables now. 
So anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this pretty interesting video on question two of the Applied Project. And like always, uh, you could download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another Math Easy Solution.